Hey Scorpio, it's your girl Alex and I'm back to provide you guys with another reading. I dedicate this reading to all of my beautiful Scorpios who joined me on the Scorpio Hangout yesterday. So my Valanas, Jeremy, Max, Spencer, Spencer, um, Sherilyn, Yolanda, my OGs who've been watching me for a minute. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. And if you weren't able to join us yesterday, there will be another one in November for Scorpio season. Um, so you'll have another opportunity. Um, let's see, I probably have to create that event and put it in the description box of this video and future Scorpio videos. So let's get into your reading. Okay, Scorpio, what you cooking up? What you cooking up? What you cooking up? Okay. All right. Ooh, my angels just says Scorpio is working on a facelift. I don't feel that's literal. I feel like it's how you present yourself to the world. Uh, Scorpio season, solar return, the sun is returning. It's placement in this constellation of Scorpio uh, for what, about 30 days, give or take. So your identity, who you are, who you show yourself to the world is what I believe angels are saying or meaning by facelift. Uh -oh, the page of Wands. So we got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah, I do kind of feel like the Ace of Wands is representing motivation. For some reason, Scorpio, you're feeling motivated. You're ready to get back into your manifestations bag. It's like, let me give this happiness thing another shot, right? With the Ten of Cups. Six of Swords is 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 peace, right? I feel like peace is being restored. Uh, Six of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles kind of says a lot of you guys are, you know, kind of maybe getting back into your spiritual routines, burning candles, saging, incense, incense, meditating, um, you know, just kind of returning back to source. I have the high, uh, the magician and the high priestess here. So this is almost like physical human 3D magic. This is the energy of who you are, your soul, your spirit, your, your, the energy part of you. Now chariot, I'm going to giddy up, but then the death card is like, okay, whoa. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is trimming fat, right? It's almost like cutting off, cutting away what no longer serves you, the end period. I would say, Scorpio, start with, with, with the little rat bastards around you who always got something to say, right? The page of wands to me is the triggerer, right? That's the little, that's the little kid on the, the, the two-year-old on a sugar high that you're just waiting for them to kind of quote unquote crash and burn and fall asleep, right? But also at the same time, my inner, my inner, my angels, I was gonna say inner, but inner is angels, is self, it's the same thing. My angels are saying to me, this is almost like your excitement. It's almost like you're excited to close things out, cut people off. It's almost like you're kind of creating a space for yourself or creating a way for yourself. And I feel like for you, the gasoline, the engine, the mechanism that's starting that process is to get back to your spiritual basics, get back to your spiritual self. So as an example, if you are a Scorpio who used to meditate regularly, but you stopped, you may start up again. If you are a Scorpio witch, as an example, where you used to do your spell work and you stop, you're about to start up again. So yes, Scorpio Ascendants, obviously you are in the last couple of days of your 12th house, which is the house of su the subconscious, right? Mm. Yeah, endings and beginnings. The, yeah, I always say around Scorpio season, we all go through like a rebirthing process. <laughs> and, and that rebirthing process, my angels are showing me, is almost like a shell, a chick, or some sort of species that's born in a shell, hatching. That's what, especially these three cards here, 
are are kind of giving me that energy. The Eight of Pentacles is almost like, yeah, I'm, I'm focused, I'm concentrated, I'm ready to go, Alex. Let's get it. Hell yeah, Scorpio. Angel said Scorpio needed this reading. They needed, they needed some positivity. Um, angels are also saying to the world, the world is a heavy weight on Scorpio's shoulders. But whenever Scorpio realizes that they're not responsible for the world, they can start to offset a lot of that weight. Offset meaning offloading themselves. And this Scorpio feels like your offloading process. I love it. I love it. Especially seeing the chariot here. Very interested in seeing what's going to line up with this chariot. I hope to heaven it's a pentacle. I hope it's a pentacle. So let us see. Let's see. Let's see. Let, oh, child. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. The nine of pentacles, baby. The nine of prominence and the nine of abundance. Yes, Jesus. Nines in the tower represent fulfillment. So for a lot of you guys, it's almost like you're getting back on track um, when it comes to what matters to you, what's important, what's valuable. The most valuable thing that we have as humans is time. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, hi, boo. You all over. Mm -hmm. Victory. Six and six. Yes, Moses. Victory here, victory here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Getting excited. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I'll accept the three of cups. Knight of swords. Okay. Yeah, Scorpio, seven of pentacles. Okay. I know on yesterday's hangout, we talked about feeling stuck. One person specifically. And I remember who that was. Um, thank you, Ida, for joining. Um, but a lot of Scorpios could relate to feeling stuck, feeling stagnant. Angels are saying that is just the weight of the world on your shoulders. For a lot of you guys, you're not using your intuition when you should, right? You're not praying to source or divine energy when you should. It's almost like you're taking on the energy of others, which is why I think whatever your spiritual practice is, you need to get back into that stat, okay? My angels are saying for so many people, not just Scorpio specifically, it's more of a cleansing ritual more than it's anything else. So y'all already know how bad business it is not to take a shower, right? Imagine, Scorpio, you hadn't taken a shower in nine months. I know, nobody would want to sit next to you. Not even me. I love you, baby but I am not uh, offending myself, <laughs> okay? So just as you would not take a physical shower in nine months, for some of you, you haven't taken a spiritual shower, cleansing, performed your ritual in about nine months. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Angels are saying you might have done it here or there, but it was almost like it wasn't enough to fully remove that energetic debris out of your energy um, field. Okay, so it's almost like you're in your head, your conscious mind, right? Because the nine of wands is almost, excuse me, nine of swords is almost like the dark night of the soul, right? For some of you, you have most of your challenges happen at night. You get in your head at night, your ne negative thoughts run rampant at night. And angels are saying, well, hell, that's where prayer comes in. Right? If you don't call it praying, you can call it manifesting, you can call it mantras, you could call it meditating. That's where it's most critical, right? In other words, if you have a high level of negative energy going on in your life, stick that spiritual practice right in the middle of that negative event, right? So in other words, like if you had a stain on your shirt, you're not going to wash the, sh the, sh the part of the shirt that doesn't have a stain. You're going to go right to the stain and, and concentrate on that. So I kind of feel like for a lot of you, if you are struggling at night, but you pray in the morning, eh, you may want to move your praying up at night. Just a suggestion. I feel like you have 
a new cycle of abundance that's headed your way, Scorpio, right? Um, my angels just said more like opportunities. And if you are a Scorpio who is feeling stuck, opportunities could come along to just represent unstuckness, right? So in other words, if you've been waiting, waiting, waiting on someone, something um, to provide you an answer, an approval, a, a message or whatever, baby, that's about to come in. That's about to, the universe is again about to open up that path for you. But I do kind of feel like the universe always, always, always needs your partnership. As I mentioned on yesterday's call, universe is not out there, right? It is, but the universe is also sitting right here too, inside of all of you. So angels are saying you're going to have a jump start to your finances. You're going to have a jump start to some sort of mechanism to get you to your finances. So again, if you were, you know, if you had some sort of court case um, that you were waiting on to clear up. So, you know, I need to pay this ticket so I can do this over here. Baby, done. Done, 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 done. Done and fun. Mm-hmm. Um, magician, yeah, your manifestations are going to start freeing up. My angels just said to me too, this nine of swords is for most of you Scorpios who felt as though your manifestations weren't coming into fruition. Makes sense. That makes sense completely. You got movement here, right? You got the Six of Swords, my get the hell out of Dodge card. And the Six of Wands is my giddy up card, right? Giddy up in victory. And the Six of Wands is preceded by the death card. So something is coming to an end, Scorpio, to free you up. Okay, I looked over at this energy. We gonna get to this shit. But yeah, something is ending to free you up and it's going to make you much happier. Angel said it's happening in the month of October. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's going to put your mind at ease and you're going to be happier. And it's going to allow you to now focus on your money, your materialism. Now you can buy that house. Now you can purchase that car. And it, for some of you, you are buying a car. Um, some of you, you can go on that trip. For some of you, you will get that promotion. Scorpio, I am speaking into your, your situations, into your existence. Um, I, will, I, I was going to say better days are coming. My angels switched up and said profitable days are coming. Okay. The only thing we need you guys to do is manage this right here. You are too reliant on your conscious mind. You need to get back into the business of listening to your intuition, relying on the divine, uh, God, angels, whomever you believe in, ancestors, whomever. Bebe, the chariot with the three of cups, better days are in front of you. Angels are saying, um, oh, this is Scorpio season, the first three weeks, the next three weeks. So I'm recording this on... October 22nd. So for the next three weeks, um, angels just said profit, 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 P-R-O-P-H-E-T and profit, P-R-O-F-I-T. Um, and, and the third party, so profit as in you'll get back to your spiritual self. Um, as a part of getting back to your spiritual self, you'll start to see movement with things that are of value for you in your life. And then the third part of that is balance, right? The three is in the tarot for me and my holy trinity, mind, body, spirit. Three of cups, the emotional card, the happiness card, the celebrations card. Baby, you're going to have three reasons to celebrate, okay? As in, your intuition and mind is clear. We're balanced out. We're believing again. We're practicing again. Oh, girl, my money has cleared up. My time has cleared up. That, that, position or approval I was waiting on came through. My finances are balanced out. And as a result of that, I'm balanced. I'm happy. I feel secure again. You are the third in this three of cups. You're the third cup in this three of cups. First, again, is your spirituality, your energetic. Second is money. Third is you, my baby Scorpio. Death. Knight of Swords, okay? 
Um, <laughs> there is someone specifically in your energy field. I feel like just as this is happening, <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. It's almost like as soon as they see you good doing good, here they come. My angel said Scorpio knows exactly who this person is. Okay? Y'all ever noticed like anytime you something turns over and an opportunity heads your way, here come that one little fly. Right? Just just sailing around your perfect meal. You know what I mean? Somebody coming in to to harness or reap the rewards of your prosperity. I feel like this person is a Gemini, um, probably Gemini rising, Gemini in the Mercury position, Sag in the Venus. They could be Gemini sun, they could be Sag sun. I don't know. They could have Gemini Sag in any placement. I don't know. But I do kind of feel like somebody's coming in now that they see your money moving all around, they're coming in with their hand out. They're coming in with their hand out. Um, it's all, <laughs> Angels just said to me, well, they were waiting for your finances to clear up so their finances could clear up. <laughs> oh, I know me specifically. I know who this is. <laughs> I know what that is. Now with the death card, yeah, they see you pop in and, you know, your bag is growing full. Here comes somebody who's coming in chart. I mean, Scorpio, I promise you, you may get off the phone with the bank and then this other person, you know, it hits your um, call waiting. They may call you literally after you, after you just hung up from this opportunity. Um, but I also kind of feel I do have good news because I do feel like whomever this is, who always is hitting you up for advice or money or whatever it is, I do kind of feel like they are on the road to um, finding stability within themselves. Okay, I got my Scorpio on the positive side. Good, 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 good. Yeah. And you may have to say no, right? You may have to say, sorry, I can't help you out this time. Because you've always helped this person in the past. And that was a part of the problem because you might have enabled them. Angel said, you know who we're, we're, who we're talking about, Scorpio. Okay, that's good. That's good, 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 good. Do we want to uh, do the third row? Do we? Do we? No, let's not do the third row. Let's do my um, manifestation. Oh, uh, yeah. And I will get those Moonology messages of the Oracle cards. I already saw them on Amazon. So thank you. For recommending those to me. Reach out. Yeah, y'all. Look, I probably got like 50 pair of uh, tarot decks and oracle cards. I only just use my favorites, but I'm using manifestation monology. <laughs> Somebody left me a comment saying, first of all, that the camera is too far away. I can't see the cards. Baby, that's what Zoom is for. Okay. I put out so many cards. Come on now. Find, find some, somebody else to pick on. Okay. Believe in your good luck. Me. Me, Scorpio. Believe in your good luck. Um, angels are saying, this is typical Scorpio, right? Many of you will view this reading and it's like, oh, child, I needed some good news. Thank you, Alex. And then immediately you'll go back into the past. As in, Whatever that tough cycle is that you're moving away from, you'll go right back there. Yeah, because the last nine months I had to deal with it. Angels are just like, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, and I know I want to cover this on our next Scorpio Hangout. We need to get into the business of not necessarily looking forward to the future, right? Because because I, I, I want you to stay away from expecting things or having expectations about the future because at the end of the day, the, the divine owns that to an extent, right? But we can always prepare ourselves to face forward, right? To look forward to what's new instead of dwelling on what has passed. I really do believe that's why this death card is here twice. 
right? Because the death card is saying, all right, the injustices are coming to a close. So let's go ahead and, and, and allow those to close out. You are able to move forward. You have an amazing new beginning ahead of you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and, and tuck away the past. Let's go ahead and, and let bygones really be gone. I mean, literally, are you up at night stressing because the only thing that you have on your mind is, is past events? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. So the um, message here that I just received was you are the vehicle who replays the past in your mind, right? You're the one who is always hitting play, play. Replay, rewind it up, replay, replay, okay? The universe is like, do something else with that finger, <laughs> right? Start, like, get, find a book, right? Start <laughs> turning pages of the book. Angel said, not necessarily pages of the book, but switching cycles, changing the chapter. Ooh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I can't make this up. Take a reality check. Now, I love this card that it came up because you do know when you think about the past, you're not in the present moment, right? You're in your head, literally. You're in your head and you're thinking about, yeah, when that dude did this or when that chick did that or when this non-binary did that. Baby, Brent, come on, Scorpio, Scorpio, get back to the present. Get back to your present reality because... That is the Scorpio in the present reality that needs to prepare for these amazing future events. Ladies and gentlemen, them and they, I just got chills when I said that. These amazing future events, when I said that, chills all up and down here, all up around my triceps. So Scorpio, baby, you need to cleanse, clear out that old muckery energy and get get your energy ready for something good. Angel said, tell me something good. <laughs> Reflect on your priorities. No. Right. Yeah, okay, get back to the business of what's important to you. I get it, I get it. Now, here, here comes an important lesson for you, okay? So, as an example, right, this is just an example. Say this old chapter you just came from, like, you know, somebody betrayed you or deceived you or took money from you, right? Reflect on your priorities to me means don't dwell on the pain you, you're feeling because they took the money. Reflect on how not to get yourself in that situation again. In other words, what lessons did you learn? Oh, shit, I paid him before he completed the work. That's how he was able to take my money. Well, in the future, if I have somebody working on my house, they ain't getting paid until the work is done. That's what reflect on your priorities means. Okay? So, yeah, baby, Scorpio, this is a good-ass reading. You got goodness here, goodness here. You celebration here, celebration, goodness, celebration, goodness, celebration, goodness. Nine of Pentacles manifesting. You have the justice of the universe. You got your magical intuitive powers here. You have stability and death, <laughs> right? Death meaning, all right, out with the old Scorpio. Let me say that again. Out with the old Scorpio and in with the brand motherfucking new. Yeah. All right, two more cards and we're out of here. It's you, baby. It's you, baby. Shine. Shine. And angels are saying, angels are saying that reflect on your priorities. In the past, when you shined, right, others benefited from that, from your light. This shine, Scorpio, make it for yourself. Benefit yourself, right? Like, shine for yourself. Fuck the dumb shit. Come on now. Shine for yourself. All right. Last one. I can't. Know your worth. Hell fucking yeah. I'm leaving that. That's a... All right, angels. 
I, I know. Know your worth. <laughs> I don't know why. Angel said, yeah, you've had to sting. You're about to sting somebody. Whether this is Gemini or this Sagittarius, you're about to, to, you're about to say no to them. But you saying no to them is going to force them to mature or transform themselves. And that's okay. But going back to knowing your worth, my angel said, well, Scorpio's judge, jury, and executioner. And, and <laughs> my angels are also saying Scorpio just gets, um, just focuses too much on the executioner part. They need to get back into the judge and the jury. <laughs> As in, again, I feel like for a lot of you, especially the last nine months, um, angels are saying it could have been nine weeks as well. I feel like you've been having to defend and ward off and keep people honest and sting people into justice and deliver karma and, you know, um, receive your rewards for that karma. It's almost like the last couple of weeks, months, you've been in the business of setting people straight and keeping them on, on, on track and, you know, yeah. <sighs> The angel said the nun in Catholic school. Like, remember the nuns would have the rulers and they would hit you on the head. You were the disciplinarians of the Zodiac for the last nine weeks, nine months. And angels are like, you're done. You're done. Go on and take your seat at the table, Scorpio, because you are arriving. Ooh, child. I'm leaving that on a positive note. Scorpio, oh, I love you, baby. And happy birthday to my October 23rd, Scorpios. And all Scorpios until I see you again. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing special for Scorpio season. So please stay tuned. I probably will make a specific video on the treat I'm giving my beautiful Scorpios for your birthday season. I love you, Scorpio. I do. I do. I do. I do. I hope y'all have a great fucking amazing birthday season. I know you will. The end. It is done. I love you. Bye.